To install the Open Bank project, clone the API just like you would any other Git repo. I've created a folder Open Bank Project API, and that's what we're going to clone into. So the Open Bank Project API contains all the code that is the main product that Open Bank Project provides. This has all of the endpoints needed to perform open banking. Once that's done, we're going to open IntelliJ to compile and run the program. With IntelliJ, simply open the pom.xml file, which lists all of the dependencies that the project has. pom.xml is a Maven file, which yeah, simply just lists all the dependencies that the project needs. Give IntelliJ some time to load the project. There's quite a lot of files in the project, so this may take some time. Once loaded, we need to set the props file, which is the settings file for the web application. You can do this by going to the Open Bank Project API, source, main, props, resources then props. What we're going to do is use the sample props template and just rename it. So we're going to copy this one and rename it to default.props. This is the default props file that the web application will read in order to configure the basic settings for the application. So we name that default props, removing the template extension. It's worth noting that if these files change, the application needs to be rebuilt. And then in the same way, we're going to take the sample test default props file and rename, rename that one to test default props. Great, we're now ready to start building the application. But before we do, we'll just take a quick look over the default props file. This is the main file when you need to make application level changes. Changing the settings here can have large ramifications to the application, such as the super admin user IDs. This needs to be set once you've created an account to allow your account to do highly privileged operations. To build the project, click Build, Rebuild Project, and IntelliJ will start building the entire Open Bank Project API. This will take some time, so be patient. Once complete, to run the application, go to the Tests folder, Scala, and there's a Run Web App program. Right click this and click Run Web App. This will start the application running in the background. It does everything from creating a basic table layout and starting a web application on localhost port 8080. This is a complete instance of Open Bank Project and from here you can create an account and start using the API. Please note your instance is blank at this point so we'll show in other videos how to put dummy data in. In the meantime, create an account on your Open Bank API instance and then we can use that to insert dummy data using the Open Bank Project API tester. We're just creating a simple password here and using a password manager to create an account. Okay, so that's inserted an account into the Open Bank API database. So you've got an instance of Open Bank API running on your local machine. So what you can do with this is get an API key and have other applications interface with the Open Bank API. So for example, the API Explorer, uh, this links to a hosted version of the API Explorer, but you can also create your own instance of it and we'll create a video for that. Any piece of software which connects to the Open Bank API needs an API key and we'll show you how to do that as well. Basically, every application that connects to an Open, ba open Bank instance needs to either use OAuth for its login or something called Direct Login. And to do that, each application needs to register for an API key. If you'd like to know more about the Open Bank project and how it can help banks partner with fintechs, just simply get involved with the Slack channel and other channels that we have. Um, probably easiest is to go to slack.openbankproject.com and join the conversation there.